Hi everyone, this is Dr. Omar. In this video clip, I will show you how to draw a normal QQ plot in SPSS and how to explore your data and determine whether your data are normally distributed or not. Here I have a file with three groups, a data in three groups, label them as data one, two, and three. And I want to look at the normal distribution of this data using the QQ plot. The way to do it, I usually do it using two ways or two methods. First, you click on analyze and then scroll to descriptive web statistics. We have here two options either to use the explore or to use the QQ plot. I'll click first, I'll show you how to do it through QQ plot and then how to show how to uh, see how to do it through explore. So if we click uh, at uh, QQ plots, a window will pop up going to look at we can look at all the three or we can look at one by one so if i select the first one the data one and i'm not going to change anything here and just click on ok spss will generate an output giving you the number of the cases and so on and then it will generate a qq plot and if we look at the qq plot here we can see the diagonal line which is the expected value or data and the circles the black circles or dots are all nearly aligned on the diagonal diagonal line so this indicate that the, these data are normally distributed and so we can go back again and do the rest for the other uh, va uh, variables or data if we wish to do so the other way, the other myth way I use it uh, and I uh, usually use it is to go through analyze and then click on descriptive, scroll down to explore and then here a window will pop up and I'm going to look at here again the dependent list, move the data one, I can move two and three but I will look at data one and if I click in statistics, I'll keep the descriptive, uh, the value as it is. On the plot, I'll click on that. I'm not going to look at stem, I'm not histogram here. And, uh, but I'm going to click in uh, uh, an icon here, click on and tick on the normality plot with tests. And it will give you plots here box plots which is uh, not of our uh, not in interest to to us i will explain it later on in another video if we click on continue and then if we want to uh, click on options we'll keep the same box as a, as it is and then if we hit the button for okay again uh, spss will generate another output but this will give you more details it will describe the give you details for the means median variance and so on uh, on and on and it will also generate a qq plot and again the qq plot show showing here uh, that these data are falls or fall along the diagonal line so these data are normally distributed so and now by this i had shown you two ways to do to draw the qq plot either to go through analyze and then click on descriptive qq plot or through explore 